In this video, I will be showing how to fix a leaky shock. This is a ZD Racing shock, but this video will apply to all RC car shocks. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to uh, fix a leak in the shocks and also how to refill. First things first, we will pull the the spring down and then pop that plastic part off pull that off as you can see we've got a bit of leakage there now we pull off that rubber thing there and what I like to do is just give it a wipe down now so what I'll do is I'll, I'll unscrew this all the way and we'll pop that off as well now what I do here is grab you'll see that there's actually it's it's kind of like a hex there so if you put a uh, a crescent uh, I'm sure there's a proper tool for this it should be but if you put a crescent in there do it up tight and just be really careful you don't want to damage it now what I'm using here is a plastic um, tool because I don't I don't want to use a metal tool in this part here because I don't want to um, break it so all I'm going to do is put that in there and I'm going to hold that and then give it a quick turn like that and you should be able to pop that off quite easily so once you've got that turned unscrew it and of course we've got it over a container here so I can tip any excess fluid and and there we go you can see that it's got fluid there's also a rubber diaphragm so I'll put that there and then I actually um, I'll put that there and what I'm going to do is just tip all the fluid actually this this fluid's really good and we'll just get so what I'll do is just do that there We'll give it a wipe. The next part is taking this off. I actually done this up before because I, I thought that if I done it up, it, it would it would stop the leak, but it, it didn't. So what I do is put a bit of material or rag on there, J just so you don't damage it, and then you can. You should be able to get that loose. So the, the problem is with the leak is that there's actually a, as you can see, there's a little, there's an O-ring there. So what I might do is I'll get it all apart and I'll get this ready and then I'll, 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 I'll start the cameras again. Okay, so I've just taken all the, the shock apart. Um, I think I found the reason why it's actually um, leaking. So I'm going to put that on there and I'll move that up to the camera. And you check that O ring. You see, that's, uh, that's why it would have been leaking. So, in, in the case for my shock, that's what the, that's what the issue is. So, I'm, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do here. Like, I might try and cut off some of that excess rubber from the O-ring, but I th I don't know, I think that might, might destroy it. So I may have to buy some more. But in the case of the O-rings being good, there's actually a little spacer inside the, the shock. Now... One thing I love about the ZD Racing is the shocks. Uh, this is the first time I've opened them, and all I can say is, wow, this is some good, this is good quality. And I'm, I'm very pleased. So, what you've got is you've got an O-ring here. That goes in there. Then you've got this little spacer. That goes down in there. And then you've got the next O-ring that goes on top. Just ignore the fact that this one's... Uh, needs repairing but you'll see 
what you'll see is that the o-ring sort of pops out a little bit and then of course you've got this part here the end cap that goes on and then what happens is is that when you screw it down you get a little bit of pressure and then what happens is when the o-ring compresses it push it causes the o-ring to be pushed and and compressed over that that bar there so you imagine that you imagine like uh, from all the circumference of the o-ring is pushing on that bar that's what creates the seal so if you do have a leaky shock you can try and just get another shim try and remake that there and just add another say a millimeter of, of thickness so when it comes to s screwing this end cap on it just applies a little bit more pressure creating creating more more seal and that should uh, stop the the shock from leaking all right i've changed the camera angle a little bit now so we can get a, a bit more of a close-up shot i was i think before maybe the camera was too far away but anyway we've changed it now okay so now i've what i've done is i i attempted to make a a little uh shim a little plastic shim but okay so this what what i'm about to say actually applies to all of rc car shocks um, if you do have a leak and you know that both of your o-rings are perfectly fine but you still have a leak that would be when you can add another little shim like like that you know um, what I was able to do was clean up these uh, things here and I just gently went around and and clipped off the excess rubber they I mean they are still really bad like that's also something you can check on your ZD Racer when you when you buy it I've I've opted to not include this shim because I actually I, I fitted it together once it was all cleaned up and hey it's all right it's 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 good I, I'm, I'm 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 happy with it now so obviously before you even start putting it back together just go over it with a rag g give it a wipe okay just make sure that every single bit is spotless you don't want any dust or dirt on there because one little bit of dust is potentially uh, going to make it leak so for me I'm gonna just give it a clean and I'm just gonna go right ahead now and reassemble it what I am gonna do is put the worst of the o-rings at the top and that would be that one there so I'm just gonna put that there in that way just like that there basic basically the, the same way it was built before so just Put that back in there, being being careful that you're not um, damaging anything. And obviously, you know that it's the little O-ring spacer. And in, in my opinion, for for this, it, it's going to be um, okay. And then I'll put that that O-ring there and there like that so now um, what I will do is I'll use some of the old I'm not going to re I'm not going to use this again I've decided no I'm not uh, luckily I've got some uh, team Losi racing diff uh, shock oil here and it's the same viscosity I remember doing some research they call this um, yeah the 40 it's the same as the default 
oil that the ZD Racing uses. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip. I'm just going to dunk the. What all I want to do is just put a little bit of that oil in and around where those parts are, where the O-rings are, just to give them a little bit of uh, lubrication so that it's not dry. And I'll put that back on there like that. Okay, and I'll put a bit more there. Right, now, so I'll clean that, that up again. Now, this is the, this is a, a bit of a, a, a difficult part. Um, let me try and, so you want to make sure that you put this on first. And now, this part here goes over top like that. And just push it in gently and now we screw that on just just make it finger tight for now and, and that's one of the the one of the reasons I, I learned that that's okay because that that's very tight you know there if this leaks I'm gonna be very surprised and then you've got the the plunger part here um, remembering that it goes that way the wa little washer on the bottom that goes in that way. So you've got that like that. That has to go down onto that plunger there. So we'll push that in there like that. And then you've got a little screw here. A little, uh, no, uh, it's a nut. Right, so what I'll do is screw that back down. So I'm using this little tool here. And then when you screw this nut back on, you you can screw it all the way down as far as it'll go, and you'll get to a point where it just stops. It continues to spin, and that's okay. That that means it, it's tight. It's as tight as it, as it is going to go. So what we do now is just I'll grab this bottle here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it all the way down. And then I'm going to put back, I'm going to screw this back on that way. Um, we'll just make sure that that there is, that that bottom screw there is tight as we can get it. Well, tight as we can get it with our fingers. Okay, there's no need to... Um, to use a tool okay it's just just finger tight that's all it needs now we drop that back down there you want to make sure that's all extended so what I'm going to do is just use this and then I wonder if that's actually got a seal on it no, oh yeah it does so there's a seal there so all I'm going to do is Fill that shock all the way back up with the oil to about to about there. I mean, you've got to allow room for the for the diaphragm. And then what I'll do is just ever slight, just ever so gently, just push the plunger up very very slowly and then pull it all the way down okay and that that got rid of air bubbles and then so just give it a couple more drops and then what we'll do is we'll just let that sit there for about half an hour just so that all the air bubbles can float to the top and then I'll screw the cap back on and then and then put it all back together I'll, I've decided that when I put the diaphragm uh, that this part here back on I actually want to have just a tiny bit excess just a little bit more just like that and then when I screw this back on 
it's okay if some goes over the edge because you want to have no air in there at all so I'll just remove that there I'll grab my container here with a so what I'm going to do is screw that back on the top and hopefully just a tiny little bit should squeeze out of that hole there which it has that's perfect great that's absolutely great um, and then of course I can give that a little wipe down use my plastic and I will tighten it up just with my hand not not too tight okay so that there that's how you know you've done it right you push it all the way in and it'll pop itself back out so uh, fingers crossed that has solved my problem so what I'll do is I will uh, re uh, I will assemble this there on there really nice shocks these I, 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 I really like them I mean of all the issues and problems that ZD racing cars have the, these shocks they, they're great if there's one thing that gives me confidence with ZD racing vehicles it's the shocks they are impressive I, I really like the fact that, that, that they give you this rubber thing too it just helps to keep dirt and stuff off the of the shaft because if you imagine there's dirt and things going up in the shaft into the o-rings that's potentially going to be a cause for a leak as well so we'll put that back on pop that in there and there we go the shock is back so now I'll put the shock back on the car and that's it I mean pretty straightforward to put on